Well, there are many ways to recover our device EH, which has a screen lock. It also has EH a forgotten Gmail account. That EH we are going to be able to recover in a very easy and simple way. In this video tutorial we will explain step by step how to recover our device. But we always recommend watching the video tutorial step by step until the end to be able to solve what this problem is. What we are going to do well. First of all we are going to connect to a Wi-Fi network to be able to do this same process. We connect to the Wi-Fi networks, we are going to connect. Then we are going to click next, we click next. We are going to click here where it says do not copy. Ready. Here we are going to click here to use a Google account. Ready. Now what are we going to do? Well, the first thing we are going to do eh eh. Well since now the tab option is no longer working. Previously we did it by the tab method, we activated the tab. We drew an L upwards and then we had showed what the voice dictator was. But these options are no longer working. But I don't know, but we always have new methods. Updated methods to be able to uh, recover. Our device. Uh, we are going to go back. We are going to select here where it says policy and privacy. We are going to use a new method. We are not going to use anymore. We are going to click here where it says click. We are going to click where it says click. We are going to wait for this to appear. We are going to click here on the Xiaomi logo, after having clicked on that Xiaomi logo. We are going to wait for these options to load, we are going to wait for it to appear. We wait for them to load and then. We are going to select what these three lines are that appear here. We are going to click on the three lines, then we click here where it says login. We click where it says login. We are going to click again to take us to that section. Being here we are going to click where it says use a Google account. Then we are going to click here where it says here in this option. We are going to click and it would take us to this small section. Here we are going to select Google. We are going to select Google and we are going to leave it click here. We are going to write any key, we are going to click on that text that appears there. Now we are going to click here, we are going to see if the option appears, nothing appears. Then we are going to click here then where it says. Start it returns us. Then we are going to try another method, we are going to click again, we click here. We click on the three lines that we had clicked at the beginning. We click here on start. Then we are going to do it from here here and we get this red letter. This error does not appear, we are going to click on the red letter, click on the red letter. We are going to click on the red letter several times. We are going to click the red letter and there as if we were going to add that account. We are going to click. We are going to click here it is. Now we are going to click here where it says share. Now we are going to select this messenger option. From messenger we are going to click here and it says new, here we are going to write any number. We are going to select it here we are going to delete everything that appears here. We delete it. Then here we are going to write www.
iYouTubeYouTube.com. We're going to click on it. We're going to click on upload. We're going to click here where it says YouTube in. It takes us back. It now appears to update YouTube. We're going to click here on the little camera. We're going to take a photo. We're going to click here where it says attach. We touch, we touch this image, we're going to click here on share. Let's see what we get here. Here it tells us search for image, we're going to click on the image. After that image loads we're going to click on the three dots that appear here. Then we're going to click here where it says policy and privacy and it would take us directly to Google Chrome. We're going to click here where it says use without a Google account. We're going to search here. Here we're going to search Google. Now being here we're going to look for our official page. Called Davidsel with double as it appears on the screen. Look at it carefully as it appears on the screen. Upload it like this. We're going to give the first option in search and what is going to appear is the first page here below. This one that says Android TV, but below it says Davicel. Let's select that one. Ready. Being here we're going to click on our page. Let's click on our page here we would get several options. They would also appear EH. Let's wait for it to load. Let's wait for it to load we click here. Now we're going to look for the last page that appears. Here and we're going to select this one that says apps devicel. That's the option that we are going to select in this video tutorial. Then we go to the last options. We are going to the last options here we are going to be able to find these settings that appear here. I say some shortcuts here they are. Here we have this option that tells us shortcut. We are going to click on it to see if it lets us, it is letting us. Then we are going to go down here and we are going to select this one that says Head apps shortcut and it tells us that the URL work either, it is not working. We are going to select this shortcut. This other one is not letting us either. So what we are going to do is click here. Here we are going to click here where it says open in the browser. It is letting us, then. So what we are going to do now then look for a blocked SIM card with a PIN code. We are going to remove what is this cover. We are going to use a blocked SIM card since all the methods are blocking us. All those methods are blocking us. We are going to use this SIM card to let us in here. We are going to enter from here. Here now we go where it says emergency. Here we're going to write the emergency number for your country. Click on it and we're going to click here. And Google Maps will quickly appear. We're going to click on it. We're going to write all the emergency numbers. Do this until it gives us the option. We're going to do it again.
It seems like it's letting us. So we're going to enter another PIN. We're going to enter two pins, two pins, so. We're going to enter another additional pin. S this time. Let's. Okay, let's try it with both pins. Go to emergency. We're going to write the emergency number. Click this. Okay, since we're going to do the next thing, we're going to click here where it says location. Since we've deactivated the pin and marked emergency call, and we've already deactivated everything, we're going to go here where it says skip. Then we're going to click a little bit back. Here. Click a little bit back, and it will appear here. What is this profile, the little ball, the little ball and if it comes out like it did just now. We go back and enter again until we get this profile that appears here. We are going to click on that profile, we are going to click here where it says configuration. Then a location configuration, we are going to select it. Then we are going to click where it says all and here we are going to click where it says see more. We are going to click now where it says show system, then we are going to click here where it says the Google services here we are going to disable Google services. We are going to click disable, we click disable the services. Now what we are going to do is restart our device. We restart it and we are only going to wait until it restarts completely and then finish what this process is. We are going to finish it, well our phone has already restarted. We are going to finish uh, we are going to finish what this video tutorial is. Now we have to get to the next level. We are going to wait until it loads and then I will tell you what to do. This sometimes takes a few seconds, I'm going to pause the video tutorial for a moment. Well we're going to click where it says do not copy and we're going to get here until we get to it and the screen tells us. Yes, now what we're going to do is go back, back, back and we're going to go back here in politics. Then we're going to the same option, we're going to do this process, click clear. We click where it says click, we're going to wait until it takes us back there. If you see that you don't enter there, we can enter directly from here. If you don't enter from there, enter. From here, we're going to click on the three lines. We're going to click here where it says log in. We click where it says log in. Here we're going to click here and click here. Now we select the red letters up there. Until we are selected. Now we click here on share. Now we're going to search here for what? Gmail is, Gmail, we click here on skip. We click here on enable, we enable, we go back. Back, we're going to go back. Back, now we click here, we click forward. We're not going to let the phone continue. We're going to click here on the Wi-Fi network, we're going to click here on forget. We forget, we click here on skip. We click on skip and it takes us here to Google services. We click on next, we click on skip, we click here on next. Next, next and next, here we're going to wait until it takes us to home. But this is not over yet, since our phone has some errors. How do we correct these errors? Well, to be able to correct these errors we're going to go to what is adjustment. Now we go to the first option phone date. 
Ah oh, sorry here ahead about phone we click where it says factory data reset. Here we are going to reset everything when our phone is completely reset we would be left with no errors because if we leave it like that if we don't reset it we would be left with some errors as you can see the screen doesn't roll. So you will be able to recover it and eliminate those errors.